take a look at a common challenge with uh, templates and intercepting existing ground. As you can see in the roadway designer dialog box here in the cross section view, uh, we're, we're replacing an existing roadway. And there's a lot of different situations where this comes in, but we do have a nice slope intercept going up. But as we model down the roadway, all of a sudden we lose that slope intercept because it catches an intercept with the existing ground. Now what's happening, obviously, is checking or catching with the, the first intercept it can complete with that existing ground. What we really wanted to do is catch with the last one so we have a uniform slope. Now this isn't a cut situation. Obviously, it uh, comes into play in a fill situation. We don't have that um, scenario here. Here, where you might be um, just, you know, there's a little knob you want to um, shave off or intercept with. But anyway, let's take a look at a solution for that. And that really comes into the template. What we want to do, let's start with a big picture here, is we want to catch that last intercept that it can possibly make with the roadway. And you have to be a little bit careful because depending on the slope you're using, you might want to bypass this intercept with the surface but catch this one. Or alternately, depending on the slope, you could bypass this, this, this and maybe catch out here. So it just depends on where you want to intercept with. But if we look at the scenario here, it looks like, you know, about 100 feet is probably the furthest out we'll ever want to go to intercept. So the plan is to build a template or an end condition that, if you can visualize this, goes out to 100 feet, turns right back around, and seeks existing ground again. And with the intermediate point out here, 100 feet out, you toggle on do not construct. Let's see how that works. And I do have my uh, template loaded up here, so I am going to simply uh, right click and I want to um, edit this. Well, I don't want to edit the station, I want to edit my template. So I'm just going to come up to the open template library icon up here. Now here's the template I'm using, and that does have a uh, 6 to 1 slope on it. And like I mentioned, what I want to do is I want to go out 100 feet and then come back in. So I'm going to delete that component because what we need is one end condition that has both um, segments in it that we're trying to accomplish here. So I'm simply going to right click, add a new component, new and add, new, <laughs> add a new end condition. And this is a, I'm going to call it 6 to 1 cut slope last intercept. And I'm really not going to worry about the styles and all that now, but uh, you know, you really should be giving it a style that, that um, you know, correlates to the type of surface or elements or components that you want to create. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect here to my uh, point of slope selection, come up, and what I want that point to do is to go out 6 to 1 for about 100 feet. So I'm just going to eyeball it, but then I want it to come right back down that 6 to 1 slope. I'm just going to offset that for illustration purposes a little bit, and then we'll, we'll fix that at the end. So I want it to come back, and I'm going to finish at that point. Now let's see how close I was on those slopes. If I add at this point, I'm going to just fix my slopes here and say I really meant that to be 1 to 6. And I want to go out 100 feet. And what I want it to do is um, not check for interception. And I also obviously don't want it to place a point there. So let's just see what that looks like when we test. So I still have my two segments out there. So if I test, you can see where I'm coming out and then I'm going to come back in. And ultimately, I want this segment to come back in at that 6 to 1 slope. But again, I'm going to offset it just so you can see how that works. So now if I test that segment, you can see what happens. It comes out, hits that point, and, and works its way back down. There's a couple edits I need to make here, so let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, what I want to do is I'm going to take this point, and I want to tell it that that is going to be a 6 to 1 slope. And that's um, just 1 to 6. Rise over run. And this distance really doesn't matter, but it is a negative distance because it's working back towards the reference line. I do want to check for intercept. And I do want to make that point, um, that end condition, infinite. So I'm going to apply to make those changes. And I'm also going to edit this initial point out here. And I'm going to toggle on Do Not Construct. So I'll hit apply, and we'll test again. You can see the initial point, and then the, the final point. So now when I test, 
you can see what's happening. A little tough to see, but if I get out to 100 feet or beyond, well, I guess it's 100 feet from the edge here, so I'm out 120 feet. So as long as it, it falls within that first point, it's actually working back down to find that last intercept. So let's go ahead and apply that, see how that looks in our roadway designer run. So if I close out, I want to uh, save that change. I need to resynchronize my template drops or my template. So I'm going to highlight that, select synchronize with library, close. I now see what's happening here in my design. And I actually and it did go out 120 feet and intercept back in. So that was not my intent. But if I do want to change that, you know, obviously that first point out there, if I pull it into 100 feet from my reference line, not 100 feet from the uh, construction point, I could pull that back in. But I'm sure you can see what's happening there. So I'm actually going out, then coming back in and intercepting again with that last intercept. So that's uh, one way that you can uh, modify end conditions to find the last intercept with a surface or any other type of target. Thank you.